What's up, YouTube? It is Gabe Sharp, and I am back with a new haul video. Sorry I've been away for so long. Of course, I am down here in Austin, Texas, and it's been kind of crazy down here. So, I've um, been doing a little work with my wife with uh, Austin Pets Alive, and just been really busy. So, I have not really had time to do videos. I've actually had very little time to even do eBay itself. I did do some hauling and some listing and did some sales on all three accounts that I have. Um, so, that has been so-so. But, but yeah, I've been really dedicated to Austin Pets Alive. And just uh, actually just got back from vacation from South uh, Padre Island with the wife. Uh, yesterday was the anniversary, so, you know been busy busy but I am back and uh, did a haul this morning even did a haul yesterday on the anniversary um, so it's a pretty big haul too so gonna go through all this stuff today show you what I got and uh, also have to spend the next month really working on consolidating all my items in my other two stores over to my newer account uh which is the one most of you probably know or look at um that's the one i usually show sales update videos and etc so i will be moving all of my old items from my other accounts which is quite a few items over to this new store i'm trying to just consolidate everything to where all my clothing is on one account so um going to more use that account for just nothing but electronics and other supplies like that so but today like I said huge haul between yesterday and today it's half off uh, half off clothing at a few different thrift stores Salvation Army yesterday and a couple of local shops here in Austin that I hit today so be going through all that kind of letting a couple of people get in also, I want to say thanks to everybody who hit me up on Facebook and commented on the YouTube videos, wishing me well and hoping I was safe in the hurricane and so forth. We didn't get really much of the hurricane here in Austin. Did get quite a bit of rain, about six inches of rain, um, but nothing big. So we're all good here. Uh, like I was saying, Austin Pets Alive. Been doing some work with them and my wife as well, who works for them. Um, bringing a lot of dogs and cats in from the Houston area who have been misplaced or were missing and trying to reunite them with their owners and etc. So it's a really awesome organization. If you're in Austin or in the area, you should always check them out. They always have really, really awesome animals there. So anyway, all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the haul for the day. Like I said, this is a big haul. So I'm going to try to fly through this as quick as possible. So I'm not just taking up everybody's time for hours upon hours. Got some really killer stuff. Um, first sourcing day back and it was awesome. I even got some stuff that's already listed that I did before the haul. Not many items, just about five or six. But they were like a Harvey Bernard vintage trench coat and some other things. So even good stuff there. But I'm going to go ahead and start with it. First off, Rock Revival Jeans. Don't really have to say much about this brand. <clears throat> Most of you know it who are doing eBay sales yourself. These are the Patty Boot Cuts. I've sold these a couple of times. They always do really well for me. I paid $8 for these. And I will sell them in the area of $50. Next up... Laguna Beach skinny jeans. These are the Skull Pocket. Very nice. This is a brand you do not see often, but if you do find it, pick it up. It always has really heavy stitching. They're an awesome brand. Uh, a Los Angeles based brand. These are the skinny jeans. They're like a black and lavender. And I picked these up for $4 and I'll sell them for about $35. Next up, dress shirt. This brand's called Eaton. Eaton is a really, really good Swedish brand. 
Uh, it's another brand if you find it. Got to pick it up. Uh, this one right here, size 16 and a half by 42. And there's the tag. Like I said, it's a great brand. I paid three dollars for this shirt, and I will sell it for about forty. Next up, Peter Millar, long sleeve button-down dress shirt, size extra large. It's the Easy Care line, which is very, very like semi-wrinkle resistant. It's got the cool miniature window pane pattern. Will sell really well. Pick this up for three dollars. I'll sell it for about twenty-five to thirty. Next up, just some basic big stars. Don't usually pick these up, but these are the KCK Low Rise Fit, which do really well for me. Um, Big Star, I only pick up really kind of based on the line. So, but like I said, the KCK Low Rise, that's a line to look out for. They do actually sell. Paid two dollars for these, and I'll sell them for about twenty-five to thirty. Next up, Bugatti Uomo. It's a long sleeve button down. Nice little pattern to it. Pick this shirt up for $250. And I will sell it for $22.99. Next up, this brand is called Helix. If you're not familiar with it, these pearl stamps do exceptionally well. This is a size 2XL, which is even better. Plaid check pattern. Excellent shirt. Long sleeve. White pearl buttons. Very nice. Pick that shirt up for $3. And I will sell that for $25. Next up. This is a Mighty Mac Parka, Vintage Parka. Excellent condition all the way around. Mighty Mac, a good brand to look out for. Get this tag up, there you go. Pick this jacket up for $9. And I'll sell it in the area of about 70 Next up, J. Crew. Not a brand I pick up usually, but this shirt is brand new with tags. So I did pick it up. Run me three dollars. I'll sell it for about twenty, twenty-five. Charles Tierwit, long sleeve dress shirt, all white, excellent condition. Anytime you find all white dress shirts, no stains or anything, that's always a score. Um, Charles Terwood always does really well for me. I uh, picked this shirt up for $350, and I will sell it for about $25. Another Charles Terwood, long sleeve, slim fit. I actually found a shirt just like this not too far back, so <laughs> I already have one of these listed. Um, but it's a non-iron slim fit. Check pattern. Excellent condition. Lavender color. Will do really well. Sell really quick. Picked it up for $3. I'll sell it for $25. And one more Charles Terwitt. Which is actually a lot like another one I have up, um, except this one 
is blue and white, the other is black and white. And this is also the extra slim fit here, which the other one I have listed is the same. Excellent condition. Paid three dollars, which is usually the half price cost of most Salvation Army dress shirts. Um, sometimes they're a bit more, sometimes they're seven ninety nine half off, but this was five ninety nine half off, and I'll sell it for twenty five. Next up, Ralph Lauren, long sleeve, button down, it's a Yarmouth, it's pretty common, pretty easy to find on eBay, but it still sells, it will sit a little bit longer, but it does sell, uh, paid $3 for it, and it will sell for about $25, same thing. Next up, this is a brand I really don't talk about a whole lot. The brand is called Soprani. You see the $3.99 tag still on it. This was $2. Uh, not a real high-end line, but it does sell well for me for some reason. So, two bucks, and I'll sell it for $22.99. Like I said, the brand is called Soprani. This is a lot of tag right there. I've sold about three of those now, and they've always sold pretty quick for me. So this is actually another shirt that does move pretty well for me. Um, I've sold two of these now as well. Uh, it's a brand I wasn't real familiar with. It's called Cotton Mill. $2.99. So I paid $1.50 for this shirt. And I just sold one of them last week for $19.99. So not a huge turnover, but it's pretty quick to flip. And it's a cool, cool, really cool pattern on it. These always do really well for me in this pattern. Next up, this is a short sleeve. This is a Magpul. If you're not familiar with Magpul, it's like a shooting line. Um, Texas made. Very, very cool brand. And will actually sell pretty well for you. So, if you ever, if you ever see this little symbol that looks like a radiation symbol right there, that's called Magpul. And it, like I said, it does very well. So Magpul, that's a brand you want to be on the lookout for. That's the tag. This shirt I paid $2 for. It's a 3XL. And I will sell this shirt for $25. we are coming out of short season, but these are shorts I could not pass up. If you're not familiar with the brand... You should definitely become familiar with the brand. The brand is called Loudmouth Golf. You can see right there. They always have crazy colored shorts and like patterns and etc. Uh, like these I will list as LSU Tiger colored. They're not actual LSU Tigers, but they are in the same color of, which this company does a lot of. Um, I'll get about 30 on these and I paid $2 for them. 30 will be low end. All the buttons are intact, everything. So, loudmouth golf. You ever see these shorts? They're very, very sought after. So, pick them up. Next up, Hawaiian shirt. Have not been picking these up really anymore because we're going out of the season. But. Gordon clothing always sells pretty well for me in these. So I did pick this one up. It is a silk blend. Oh no, this one's actually not. This is a cotton poly blend. But still does really well. The brand always does great for me in the Hawaiian shirt category. Gordon clothing. It's not as high end as like Tommy Bahama or etc. But it's always a quick flip. And people buy beach shirts year round. So I still pick up one here and there. Tommy's I still pick up. Gordon's I pick up if I find them. I don't come across them a lot, though. 
I paid three dollars for that shirt, and I'll sell it for about twenty. Next up, Larry Mahan, great Western brand, diamond pearl snap, excellent condition all the way around, no stains, no nothing on it, excellent condition. Pick the shirt up for three dollars, and I will sell it for twenty-five. Next up, Under Armour. This is a clubhouse polo. Logo on the sleeve. As you can see, this is brand new with tags. $64.99. I paid $5 for the shirt. So, excellent buy at that price. Oh, doing awesome. Doing awesome. Back back at it kept me I, that's what I was just talking about in the first of the video I uh, been doing some work with the wife with a uh, charity organization here called Austin Pets Alive but it's been kind of the focus here lately but I am back now and doing great by the way the Under Armour Polo I, like I said I paid five for it I'll sell it for 40 Levi's Pearl Snap, short sleeve, excellent condition, plaid check pattern, size, double XL, so this shirt should do pretty well. Uh, picked it up for $2, and I will sell it for $25. That's pretty much the going rate on most of my Pearl Snaps, $25. Bucks. Next up, Nike Dry Fit, UT, Polo, stripe down the back, got the Nike collar inside, excellent condition, this is a size small, which is not really preferable, but it'll still sell, football season, it'll do really well, pick this shirt up for $1.50, and I'll sell it for $25. Next up, so I hit the jackpot on George Strait Wrangler shirts. Um, I've talked about them in the past. They are excellent to pick up. These sell super quick. Um, and, I mean, always super quick. So this one right here, it's a size XL, George Strait Wrangler. It is there. Pick this up for three bucks. Easy sell at 22. I'll be coming into more of those in just a second. Hmm. Ralph Lauren Polo. Blake. Button down. Excellent condition. Pick this up for $3. And I'll sell it for $25. Salvation Army on Wednesdays is a regular spot for me, yes. Um, it's half off all clothing, so yes. Um, shirts that are $5.99 or $3, that's all these you see me going through now. Jeans are $3 a lot of the times. Um, like the most I've ever paid, I think, on a half off day is like 6 bucks. So, yes. Great place to source from. But this uh, this haul actually does come from two other thrift stores as well. Um, they were also half off, and they also priced very similar here in Austin. So here we got another Ralph Wren, Blake plaid check pattern, excellent condition, nice flannel look. No problem, no problem. 
I paid three on that shirt also, and I will sell it for twenty-five. This right here is a Brooks Brothers Country Club line. This is a long sleeve cashmere blend. And it's in excellent condition. It's that cotton cashmere blend. And it's a size large. Pick this up. This actually costs four. So that's what I was saying. Some things, if they see cashmere on the tag, they'll price it up a little bit. So, but it's still well worth four. I'll sell it for 30. Ireland stuff always does really well for me. This awesome Ireland Republic sweater. I love sweater season. It's average sale price goes through the roof come fall and winter. Um, summertime, my average sale price always dips because I'm selling so many like athletic gear, like shorts and racer bag tops and you know so forth. I'm selling so many of those with a lower ticket price that it brings my average sale price down. But fall and winter get here, I can start picking up jackets, sweaters, things of the sort. And it always just jacks the average sale price up. That combined with Q4, of course. So the two together, yeah, it's a great time of the year. The Ireland sweater, I'll sell it for 20 And I picked it up for 3 there we go also so this is a brand that you always want to look for if you're not familiar with the brand the brand is called cinch it is a western wear brand and it does incredibly well this is a double xl plaid check pattern green purple and white just in excellent condition always look for the little bull rider there on the pocket both the jeans and the shirts and cinch do really well. That shirt I paid three dollars for, I'll sell it for twenty-five. Talking about the George Strait shirts, here we go. Here's another one. This is a size XL as well. Excellent condition. So I paid three fifty on this. And I'll sell it for 22 Another George Strait. <laughs> Size XL. Same thing here. This was 350 Sell it for 22 <laughs> Sorry guys, I got notifications going crazy. Got another George Strait here. This is a 4X. Huge shirt. Excellent condition. Paid four on this one. I'll sell it for 25 at a 4X. It's still first class. The brand here is called Prana. Excellent, excellent brand if you ever come across it. Prana is something that always, always has a lot of interest every time I list an item. Looking for that logo. And it does extremely well. This shirt is a size medium, which I always look for bigger sizes, but... Cedric Emporio says, wow, really good finds. Just, oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, down here in Austin, I mean, we got some, got some really good thrift stores. <laughs> so, I always uh, tend to find some good brands, some good stuff. Uh, you know, and I love this season, like I said. I love picking up long sleeves, I love picking up sweaters, I love picking up hoodies, I love picking up jackets. Really raising that sale price. But, yeah, it's a good time of the year to really be sourcing. And, yeah, Austin's a great spot for it, there's no doubt. I'm, I'm very fortunate in that manner. 
This shirt here, if you're not familiar with the brand, also a great brand. This is Armani Yellow Zegna. This is a stripe. Long sleeve button down. Armani Yellow Zegna is a Italian line here. As you can see the Made in Italy tag right there. Pick this shirt up for four dollars and I will sell it for thirty. Next up, long sleeve winter pullover, Tommy Bahama. Excellent condition. Got the marlin on the chest right there. And it is a size medium, but will still do very well. Pick that up for four dollars and I'll sell it for thirty. Next up, this brand is called Juno. Juno is a uh, very nice winter brand to pick up. Does very well. This is an XL. And I believe it is a it's a wool and cotton blend. Navy blue. It'll do very well. Paid four dollars on it. And I will sell it for 30. Next up, Timberland. Not a brand I normally pick up, but like hoodies like this, excellent, excellent find with the all over logo like that and the big patch on the chest. Pick this hoodie up for six dollars and I'll sell it for 40. It's a size XL. Thought I saw something on it. There was not though. Next up Nike winter jacket. Long sleeve of course. Excellent condition. Patch near the bottom. Okay, so no, on the roads again, I do not pick up everything Timberland. Um, those hoodies, though, especially with the all-over logo like that and the big patch, those do extremely well. So that's what you want to look for. Uh, the hoodies do much better than anything else. The work boots do pretty well if you find them for a good price as well. And they're in good condition, of course. So this Nike jacket here run me six dollars and I will sell that for fifty. Been picking up tons of good jackets. So got some jeans. A Hilfiger polo with Chinese printing where the logo should be? No. Not. Sorry for the fantasy football update. <laughs> but no, I have not. That That's not anything I've ever seen and probably isn't legit. But you could easily do some research into it. Um, go into the sold listings on eBay. You can always check it out. I pick up a lot of hill figure though, and I've never seen that. Especially like vintage hill figure, I picked up a ton of it. Um, so, you know, that's not anything I've ever seen, but that doesn't mean that it's not real. I would definitely research it further though, because I definitely have not seen that. I'm pretty brand knowledgeable when it comes to things like that. So, because even before I started selling things, I was a clothing buff. So, and Hill figure was one of those things to me. I love vintage Hill figure. So next up, Duluth Trading. What, just the basic work jeans. So Duluth Trading Company is one of those brands that you probably see all the time and you don't pick it up. You should pick it up. Because <laughs> it does sell very well. Those jeans cost $3. I'll, I'll sell them for 30 <clears throat> Next up, 
Next up, Notre Dame Vintage Chalk Line. Very old school right there. Vintage Chalk Line, just the basic logo on the chest, nothing on the back. Yeah, it's a good find. Um, I paid four dollars for this, and I'll sell it in the area of forty dollars. Oh, I got you, I got you. It was on Overstock? Hmm. That's interesting. Wait, are you talking about the hill figure you found on Overstock? Or the chalk line you found on Overstock? So it's like, I don't, that's crazy. I've never seen anything like that on Overstock. Okay, yeah, that's why I was like, well, that's very interesting. I would definitely research that and see. Because, I mean, you can usually, it's a pretty reputable site. So, I mean, but you never know. <laughs> I would definitely research it. 20 bucks, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I would, I would do a little research on it. Next up, got this BKE Buckle Brand Pearl Snap. Standard fit. We've got a early 90s starter, starter puffer Michigan State Park jacket about two months ago in light new condition. Yeah, that's a good find. Have you already listed that parka or? And by the way, this BKE I picked up for $350. I'll sell it for $25. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what did you list it at? Yeah, you listed it six weeks ago. Uh, and what did you list it at, if you don't mind me asking? Sixty nine ninety five. You could get more for that. I'm, on, I'm just going to let you know. You could list that higher. Is it one of the big parkas? I mean, like, one of the big puffer parkas with the starter on the sleeve. The white starter logo on the sleeve. And then the logo on the back. Does it have the big logo on the back or no? So it does have the logo on the back. I mean, I'm going to tell you, in my honest opinion... I would have that jacket at $100, but that's me. I mean, and not only would I have it at $100 on eBay, but I'd have it on Etsy as well. Stuff like that does great on Etsy. Next up, we've got some Robins. Yes, these are authentic. This is a brand that often, often imitated <laughs> and tons of fakes out there. But there are tons of things you can also look for to know that they are real. First off, get that focus. The zipper, the YKK stamping. Usually, those YKK stamp zippers will be on authentic merchandise only, simply because the cost of that zipper would not be sufficient for fake companies to reproduce that. Um, also, the inside tag is very legit. As you can see there. It's got the Made in the USA tag. And lastly, the pockets are leather. But do have some peeling, which is the downside of these. Somebody wash these. They're not supposed to, the way they weren't supposed to, I should say. So it did some damage to the leather. These jeans are still highly sought after. Um, I did pay four dollars for them, 
and I will sell them in the area probably about 35 to 40 just because of the peeling on the pockets. If those were in excellent condition, I would easily get $70 for them. Next up, Lucky Brand men's jeans. Always a great seller for me. I move a lot of these. These are the 410 Athletic Fit. If you, if you ever find these, you always want to pick them up. The 410 Athletic does extremely well. I paid five dollars for these and I will sell them for 30. I usually do free shipping. So I do offer free shipping. I find that it moves items quicker in my, my case. It kind of really depends on what I'm selling. So if I'm selling jackets and parkas, sometimes I'll charge for shipping. Uh, but jeans and shirts, I usually build it into my price, both on eBay and Mercari. So I will like build it into the price in which I'm selling it, or Poshmark. So Poshmark though, they charge shipping to the customer, so you don't really have to worry about that. Nothing's free shipping on Poshmark. It's a prepaid label, etc. But Mercari, you can either do free or it's just like eBay. You get the option. So that's the way I do it. Next up, this is a long sleeve track jacket from Adidas, brand new with tags. Currently have this listed at 40 bucks. Is the training jacket. I found two of these. Paid six dollars each for them. For sold the first one for forty, and seeking the same on this one. Um, has a couple of watches right now, so I look for it to sell fairly quick. It's been up for about three weeks now. That's one of the last things I listed. You know, prior when I was last time I was on YouTube. There you go. Next up, Silver Brand Men's Jeans. This is a Zach boot cut, the yoga built-in material. The yoga built-in material is just kind of more of a stretch material. But, uh, so it's a blend of cotton, poly, and elastane. It's got some added stretch. Great jeans. You ever find Silver Brand in men's jeans, always pick them up. I paid $6 for these, so I did pay up a little bit. But I'll sell them for 40 Told y'all this is a big haul. I'm getting there though. Do you mainly thrift source? Okay, so I mainly thrift source for eBay. Um, I also do wholesale orders direct to Amazon FBA. And I'm looking to actually start getting into wholesaling items to eBay in my other accounts. So that's actually the reason I'm looking to consolidate all my clothing from my other stores into this newer store I have. So, because right now I'm running three different accounts that all have clothing. And I'm trying to nix that. <laughs> Just want to move all of it to one account. So, luckily on those other accounts, I use the hanging system instead of packaging. Um... I had a, I have a storage unit, so it just hung, I had mobile hangers all the way around, so now I will be taking pictures of those items again, and just copy and pasting those listings from my other shops into the new one. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it'll be worth it in the end. Next up, Indigo Palms, this is a brand that was bought by Tommy Bahama. Indigo Palms does very well. These are a 34 by 32. Good size. Sells well. The cool fraying on the pockets. That is intentional. And I paid $2.99 for these. They weren't on sale. So that's crazy. Um, <laughs> on sale they would have been $1.50. Do shirts do well in that brand? In Indigo Palms? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, some some a little more than others. But yeah, Indigo Palms is a great brand. Um, like I said, it's a Tommy Bahama brand. 
So if you find the Indigo Palms, it says Indigo Palms by Tommy Bahama on the tag. That's even better. So. You see them all the time. Yeah. A lot of people do that. No, Indigo Palms is a great brand. Especially, like I said, if you find Indigo Palms by Tommy Bahama. Um, they're an easy sell at 20 25 bucks. So, if you find one for $3, $4, it's well worth picking up because you'll sell it at 25 bucks. Sometimes they'll sit a little longer, but I usually move them in two to three months. Low end. I mean, really just depends on the pattern, the color, etc. Like, uh, I guess I don't have one from this time. But, but yeah, especially the loud colored ones and etc., those move even quicker. So next up, we got Lucky Brand once again. This is the 181 relaxed straight leg, excellent condition. Size 38 by 32, so it's a good size. Back tag is in excellent condition. Pick these up for five dollars. I will sell them at 32.99. Next up, Tommy Bahama jeans. These are the Tommy Bahama. Let me make sure which line these are. Yeah, these are the straight leg. So the size on these, 38 by 38. Really, really long inseam. So... Whenever I get jeans that have some crazy inseam like that, they always do really well for me. Uh, I've never found any... Uh, I've never found any in Tommy Bahama with that long of an inseam. Usually when I find them that long, it's like the Marite Francois Gerbeau or, you know, it's always some like crazy hip-hop brand that you'll find with the crazy long inseam. But... First pair I found with Tommy Bahama having a 38 in theme. So, very unique find. Should sell pretty quick. Next up, another brand to always be on the lookout for, but you want to know the line that you're looking for. It's Adriana Goldschmeid, AG. So what those look like right there. As you can see, these are the stilt. The stilt is like a cigarette leg, straight leg, uh, with like a skinny fit. These always do incredibly well. They usually will sell within a couple of weeks tops. Uh, I sell them a lot on Poshmark. So Adriana Goldschmeid, men's, if you find these at men's, always pick them up, no matter the line. So they'll have like the Refuge or the Protege. Uh, these are lines that are in men's. Always be on the lookout for these. Uh, as far as the women go, women's, you want to look for the skinny ankle, the stilt, and sometimes the angel boot cut. They do really well on Poshmark. Not as well on eBay, but these do well on all of them. Next up, another Adriana Goldschmeid and the stilt as well. Cigarette leg, these are black denim. These will sell even quicker. So, awesome find there. I paid $2 a piece for each of those. I'll sell them for 30 Next up, Nike Fit Dry. Quarter zip, excellent condition, black. Very nice. Paid two fifty for this, half off. It's four ninety nine, fifty percent off. And I will sell that for twenty six, twenty seven dollars in that area. Probably around twenty six ninety nine, twenty seven ninety nine. I have weird pricing when it comes to the Nike stuff, so I kind of just base it off some past stuff that I sold. So. Low end, it'll go for $24.99. So this is L brand. 
pure cashmere. It's quarter zip. Do I lay flat hanging or mannequin photos for my store? Okay, so I do mannequin photos uh, for all shirts. Lay flats on jeans, jackets, mannequin, so forth. So, really, really, lay flats, just jeans and shorts. And the pure cashmere uh, cost me $3, and I'll sell that in the area, $25. Here's a brand I never pick up, but I do pick this up, and it's an Apartment 9. Apartment 9 is one of those brands that, like I said, it's not the most desirable brand, um, but some of the women's stuff does really well in it, uh, but the reason I pick this up is there. As you can see, that is also 100% pure cashmere. I paid $2 on it, and I'll sell it for about $25. Next up, it's another BKE Pearl Snap. The black pearls on this one, excellent condition. Size 2X, excellent. This shirt will move extremely quick. I'll sell it for 30 bucks and I paid three for it. Next up, outdoor jacket. This is a Pacific Trail, which is a Seattle, Washington company. Um, this jacket here, it's a basic outdoor jacket, not a heavy parka or anything. But this brand does really well for me. It's not the most high-end brand, but it sells quick. Um, I sold a ton of them last winter. Uh, it's a size XL. I paid four dollars for it. It's an easy sell at thirty-five to forty. Next up, this is a Burberry Golf. You can see here, this is a 100% merino wool golf sweater. A lot of these will have the logo on the sleeve, as so. You do not find these very often. There's the Burberry logo with the Burberry golf. If you find those, always pick them up. High dollar, 100% wool, like I said. I paid $4 for this, and I'll sell it for about 50 And lastly, Big Parka, Pacific Trail, excellent condition, it's a size 2X, excellent, excellent condition, not a flaw on it, it barely looks like it's been worn at all, pick this up for $5, and I'll sell it in the area of 60 bucks. And that's it. That's it for the haul for this week. It's a lot of stuff, but nice score. Yes, you really have to watch out for that on cashmere. That's one of the crazy things about both of those I showed. No holes in it. Um, wool's the same way, but cashmere. Cashmere is even worse. Um, you'll usually find holes in it all the time. But... Both of those, excellent condition. I looked them all over, not a hole in them. Couldn't believe it either. Actually found a 100% cashmere J. Crew last week. Two weeks ago, yeah. I'm trying to remember last time I really did sourcing before yesterday, but uh, it was a J. Crew 100% cashmere with a camel on the front. And that sold in like two days. No problem, no problem. I, I do these hauls all the time when I'm sourcing. Like I said, um, after the hurricane down here, I've just kind of been focused on other things. So 
haven't really been around, but I am now back. Um, I will be sourcing weekly, of course, like always. And uh, I'll be doing the videos weekly. I'll also be hitting you guys with a few other videos. I've had some questions over on Facebook that I've been trying to get around to. So, uh, some shipping questions and etc. And I'll be doing videos based on those questions as well. Does anybody have any questions who's watching now? Or if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot. Whether it's brand related or whatever the case may be. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brenda. I appreciate it. I'm fairly new to YouTube, so not, I'm, I'm new to the clothing eBay side of YouTube. Um, I have a drop shipping channel that I had for a long time. Cowboy Starter Parker, Parker Listing? Sure. What's your eBay store? Or is it the only one listed or... Because I know Cowboy stuff runs rampant on eBay. <laughs> but I will absolutely check out the listing. Okay. Retail Rescue Yogi. I will go check it out. Oh, it's new with tags. Nice. That is a nice score. Nothing wrong with pricing high. Uh, I price high on vintage stuff all the time. What's your top sourcing price would you pay on brands such as Cinch, Tommy Bahama, or Button Ups? Okay, so, yeah, I know the new tags part is crazy on the Cowboys Parka. That's awesome. That's something you don't find. I don't find a lot of Cowboys parkas here, regardless. Here in Austin, I mean, parkas are kind of, they're not needed. So, you know, it's warm here year-round. I mean, the coldest days we see are like 40s. So, <laughs> I mean, you don't find a lot of parkas. You find a few, but not many. Um, oh, and in terms of Cinch and Tommy Bahama... Yes, and I move cowboy stuff like crazy as well. I just sold a hoodie three days ago on Mercari. It was up a day. So, and of course being down here in Austin, I see a lot of cowboy stuff. Uh, a lot of Texas Longhorn stuff, a lot of cowboy stuff, lots of Houston Texan stuff. All three make their way down. So, and as far as cinch goes and so forth, I wouldn't pay probably over five bucks. So, Tommy Bahama, because I'm generally selling those in the area of 25 bucks, and especially if you're doing free shipping. So, if you're doing free shipping, okay, look at it this way. If you're doing free shipping, you pay $5 for the shirt. You'll estimate $4 for shipping in terms of your materials as well as the outright price of shipping the item, which is usually in the 382 area to 402 So, you might as well estimate $4 on average. And then a few bucks for both PayPal and eBay fees. So you're out of the gate at $12. And if you're selling it for $25, that's a $13 profit, roughly. So once you minus your percentage for taxes, it's about a $10 profit. Which is about what I would look for. I mean, I'm always seeking a $10 profit for a shirt. But, you know, that's, that's a low end what I'm looking for. So... Pretty much on everything except jackets and so forth. When it comes to jackets and etc., I'm generally looking for a higher profit. Oh yeah, the thrift stores they'll put the squeeze on you. Four ninety nine to six ninety nine. Is it a Goodwill or just a local thrift store? Because I mean, we know Goodwill prices are high. I rarely even source a Goodwill anymore. Um, only when they're doing like their 50% sales. Same with Savers. I have, I'm signed up for their clubs or whatever and I get notifications. Other than that, you know, it's not a place I generally source. So if it's just a local thrift store, a lot of those do it too. Local chain, family owned. Eight of them in the area. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, 
I mean, four ninety nine to six ninety nine isn't bad. I'd pay four ninety nine for a Sin shirt or even a Tommy Bahama shirt. I'd pay four ninety nine. Absolutely, because like I said, you can price that at twenty four ninety nine, make a ten dollar profit on it, and it's a brand that moves. You know, so me, I'm a long tail kind of guy, so I I don't mind pricing items up and waiting. I don't accept best offers. I mean, you know, I'm very, uh, very set in my ways in terms of the way I sell on eBay. But, like, I never accept offers. And then if I have something that sits in the store too long, I just throw it to auction. Not what it did. I'll even price the auction high first time around, then drop it the second time around. So, I have a, a method to it all and inside of all of it. Generally, I won't throw anything to auction under six months. I used to do it way shorter period of time, but yes, I run sales during the weekdays all the time. Always run sales during the week. So, uh, weekends, that's when you sell most of your items anyway. I don't tend to run sales on those days because I make sales regardless. Uh, but during the week, especially like your Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I always run sales, whether it be 10 to 15% off. It's also the reason I price high. I like to price high, so that way when I run a sale, I can actually get what I wanted for it. Makes sense. So, I gen generally run 10 to 15%. Yeah, 10 to 20% is still good. I, I, I run 10 to 15, like I said, and yeah. You know, some like okay for this week have a sale running in my newest store it's 15 percent off and i set that for the entire week because i would knew i was going to be away on vacation and yes jacking the prices way up and running 50 percent sales does work um so i tend to do those at the end of the month that's the way i do it i'll really do it on items that may not have uh any watchers or anything like that I'll jack it or say I have a category that doesn't have a lot of items with watchers I'll jack the price up on the item and then run 50% off in that category so and yes that does work you'll move a lot of items that way but generally through the week I'm a 15% kind of guy and when you're running you know if you have big name brand stuff and really hard to find designer stuff, you run 15% off, they'll buy it. Yeah, so if you do it Friday through Sunday, yeah, you can really move items on 50% off. Uh, but for me to be able to do that, you know, pretty regularly, I would definitely have to jack prices up. Uh, like I said, I do it. Uh, so, like, even right now, I have some athletic wear that I will probably be doing that with. So, it does work. It's a solid strategy. So, I raise prices for sales by a dollar amount. I have a dollar amount that I'm actually looking to get on the item. And if I'm going to run a sale in it... I'll simply jack it up to where I'm getting close to or right at the amount that I originally wanted in the first place. So say I have a shirt listed for 22, I'll jack it up to around 35, run a 50% off sale, and I'm still getting close to what I would have in the first place. So that's the way I tend to do it. Like I said, I only do that with items that have been sitting for a while or categories that I don't have a lot of items left in. And yes, it does. Sit. Yeah, yeah, that takes a lot of time. So, on the roads again, I was talking about he goes in and jacks up prices on all 160 items in his store. That's going to take some time. <laughs> Me, I do it by category in my store. So, like I said, right now I have men's athletic gear category in which I'm going to want to blow some stuff out. 
I'll go, I'll do that exact same same thing. I'll jack those prices up, and then I'll you know run a fifty percent off sale. Anybody else got any questions? Any, anything brand related? Anything eBay store related? Awesome, awesome. Been a little under the weather, so. Being the case. School season, man. It's crazy. I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate that. On the roads again. What's your, uh, what's your YouTube channel? Yeah, I definitely appreciate that. Awesome, Valerie. That's not a problem. Yeah. On the Roads Again. So that's your YouTube channel. So On the Roads Again. I will check out that YouTube channel as well. Everybody else, check it out as well. It's all about supporting our fellow eBayers, the resale community. Just, you know, helping each other out, being there. Mama and Jay is in the house. And yes, me and the wife are doing great. And I'm glad to see your sales are picking up. I remember the last time you said they were way down. My sales have also definitely picked up. Uh, last month was terrible. But September has already been really good. So... Going into that Q4 stretch, it's always nice. But August was terrible. August was really slow. But I'm really happy to hear your sales are picking up. I hope everybody's sales are picking up. They definitely should be by about this time. So September through the first two weeks of December are usually hand over fist if you know what I mean it's a great time of the year to be selling on eBay January is actually really good as well so a lot of people discount that but January is good Mom and Jay says yes and I'm mixing it up I'm adding hard goods to go with the clothing hard goods are always great that's what I'm trying to separate my accounts from hard goods and clothing so that's actually what I'm working on because Having three accounts, all with some clothing in it, just, it gets a little old trying to maneuver through all of it. So now I want to consolidate it all to one. Printer ink is always great. I also picked up some printer ink <laughs> about four days ago. Expired printer ink is great. And you hit the thousand listing goal. That's awesome. I don't have even near a thousand items in my newer store. So, I mean, hey. Now, my other two accounts are, you know, they've been around a long time. They have a lot of listings. But uh, this one, that's what I'm trying to build up now. I plan on listing 250 items before the end of September on this new account. And then by the end of the year, I want to be at around a thousand. I'm actually looking to hire help with this, so I'm looking to hire a lister at the time because between Amazon FBA, this, it just it tends to be a little much. I know. A thousand listings is a lot. I mean... You do a thousand listings, you can always bet you're gonna you're gonna do some sales. Alright guys, well I guess I'm gonna get on out of here. I appreciate it all. Everyone checking it out, I thank you very much. And uh I'll be back later in the week. Like I said, I have a ton of Facebook questions as well. I'll be nice. Yes, Valerie, I agree. Um so the best way to hire a lister, I've done it in the past. The best way to do it is to hit up like a college kid. 
Uh, so, appreciate it on the rows again. Mama J, thank you very much. Brenda, thank you very much for checking it out. Thank you all. Please like the video if you liked it. If you found it informative, please like. But yes, Valerie, college kids, great for doing listing. Um, I pay by the listing usually, so it makes it a little easier. So, so my Facebook page is New Frontier Business. So you'll find it in the link on most of my videos also. It's facebook.com forward slash New Frontier Business. And yes, my on my on does pretty well. Awesome on the road again. I appreciate it. I usually share all videos to that Facebook. I haven't been on there in a minute either, but um, same with my Instagram. Like I said, I've just had so much going on that you know I really haven't had time to do a whole lot of anything. But I am back now, so I'll see you guys a lot more. Thank all of y'all for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe, whichever. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Appreciate you guys a lot. See you next time. Peace.